Okay. Hey everyone. So this isn't a cubing video. This is like a silly video. So I was eating Pringles and my hands, I'm like kind of a big person. I'm like six feet and my hand is really big. So when I stick my hand into the Pringles can, I can't get the Pringles at the bottom. And so I was like, what if I made a can that could hold all the Pringles, but like you could twist it. So like this is my can, it's the Pringler, and there's a little knob here, and this knob actually telescopes the whole thing. And like, it has an airtight seal here, and you might be wondering, well if it's airtight here, what about here? Don't worry, there's like a little groove in there to hold one of these O-rings, and like O-rings are designed to make an airtight seal, so this like compresses, and there's like a little scooped out depression. I'm gonna link the files in the description. Well, there's only one file, so if you have a 3D printer, you can print one too. And then like, it's an improved version. So this is like the normal version, but like the improved version is as, it's like even thinner than this because there's like a lot of extra room inside the Pringles can. If you can see in there that it's gone to waste and those chips will like move back and forth and then break up. But there's really no reason why that exists. It's like air that makes it go stale faster. It's like room that if you sh shake and drop the can, it just breaks all the chips. This will like have the version two that is in the file. That's like, it only gives two millimeters in every direction for it to shake. I didn't want to get it too close because like, uh, yeah, I didn't want to mess it up. There's like tolerances. It's like, there's like a one millimeter tolerance, which is huge by the way in, in engineering, but like it allows you to print this with like an inaccurate printer and it still twists like really smooth. Like it sounds rough because the pieces are hollow, but it's actually a really smooth twisting motion. So this is how deep it is. If you can see like the spiral is actually in the can and then the, the thing on the inside hits those grooves. So like if you used a screw or a lead screw or a threaded rod, you'd only be able to get the volume of half the can. But since the threads are in the actual in cylinder, you get the volume of the whole can. I'm not a mechanical engineer. Um, that's just, uh, this is just something I did for fun. Like it took me about 45 minutes to make the first version and then revisions and stuff. It only took like an hour and a half tops, not counting print time, which is why I'm releasing the files for free because I don't care. So here, this is a hyperbolic paraboloid, which is the shape of a Pringle. Um, in physics, this is actually a very important shape, um, but I'm sure no one really cares about saddle points and stuff like that. Um, that aside, I'll do a cubing video soon. I got two new cubes that I'm going to review, um, but we're going to test it with this new thing. Um, so this is Pringles. I'm going to load it up. Um, so let's dump these out. I learned when I was just pouring them in, like you can just hypothetically just dump the can into the Pringler. But if you do it that way, um, I noticed you get a lot of like the broken chips in there too. And I didn't really like that. So you take the chips, you load them in and then you twist it. So it loads them in. I think I've loaded two. There we go. So that's one batch. Second batch. I'm going to get the whole can in there. If not the whole can, like 80% of the can. So like the height of this is 250 millimeters. Um, I didn't want to push it too far because this is like the first version. And I didn't want to mess up because like... This takes 20 hours to print, and you can see all these chips it's holding. It's pretty ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh, it actually, it holds the whole can. I never actually had a full can because I couldn't stop myself from eating the Pringles. It actually holds the whole can of Pringles in here. Oh wow, it, it has extra room too. So there you go. That's the whole can and that's the size. Oh, when I put them next to each other, it kind of makes sense. So the Pringler holds the whole can of Pringles and it has the airtight seal at the top and it has an O-ring, medical grade O-ring at the bottom so that when you twist it, it holds the air in there too. And then just like that, my hands never have to go in the can. And this is the empty can guys. Um, like, I never have to, like, do the ham fist. I can just take it out. 
and then <coughs> twist it up just like that Pringle dispenser so if you want one for yourself there's a Google Drive link and tell me your experiences with this if you do build it the second version is like so much better the inner tube is like shaped for the Pringles um, I retolerance the whole thing so it'll be smoother than this one and all you need you don't need this to run it you just need this to make it airtight um, that should be it so thanks for watching and listening to my dumb video about this silly invention that I made see you all in the next video human video probably within the week